No, no, no. <laughs> 60 40 where girls are approaching me. Really? Yeah. Okay, but, stop. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to be like. Yeah, no, I got you. No. There was actually an Instagram model um, at my gym. Yo, yeah, what's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. I just discovered your channel recently. I find you attractive. I'm Dylan, I'm from Rhode Island and studying health sciences. I'm Anders from Princeton, studying industrial engineering. Oh, from Princeton, New Jersey? I uh, know, Princeton, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm Mala from New Jersey. I'm Chaco, I'm from Maryland, and I'm studying health sciences. My name is Larissa, I'm from Latvia, and I'm also studying Wait, health Latvia? science. <laughs> for those who don't know Latvia, like what's something Latvia is known for? Um, Christoph Porzingis, like the oh, basketball really? player. Okay, yeah, well, that's what, <laughs> wait, wait, health sciences? Do you have to know a girl named Ali Lo I feel like that name's so familiar. Wait, are you a freshman? Or? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's a freshman too. I interviewed her last time. My name is Ali. I am a health science major and I'm from Abu Dhabi in the UAE. <gasps> Abu Dhabi? Yeah. <laughs> My name's Ali. I'm from Abu Dhabi and I'm a health science major. I'm Judy. I'm a nursing major and I'm from Burlington, Massachusetts. Um, I'm Kyra. I'm from Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm a business major. Word. Okay, actually, I think it's pretty cool how you guys are. You're from Abu Dhabi, you're from Bangkok. So my warm-up question is, uh, what's something Bangkok or Abu Dhabi is known for? Um, or like, what are some nice spots to... What's up? <laughs> you're the guy who... <laughs> <laughs> you're the guy who... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? I saw your video last week. Oh, word, word, Appreciate that. What's your name? Amelia. Amelia, Justin. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll see you around. <laughs> Abu Dhabi is kind of known for having like the fastest roller coaster in the world and it's really hot there that's pretty much what it's known for. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think Thailand is known for their beaches and like party life. Okay, party yeah. life? Okay. <laughs> okay, so first question, how can a guy know when a girl likes him? For me it's just more of like being really straightforward and just like really? just ask me and then okay. I'll tell you the truth. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, but, but, but. Hand through the hair. Really? Yes. <laughs> really? Like, like, I like, think so. Like, a, like a... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I when you like, like a guy. you're laughing at, like, everything they say, that's a, that's a big giveaway. Okay, so it also said that, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, what if the guy's funny? Like, that's naturally? Fair. There's, like, yeah. a certain laugh, though. It's, like... <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah. there's, like, a specific type of laugh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, got a... Like a little higher pitch. No, no. <laughs> no, like, no. I like that laugh. <laughs> you can't do it on the spot. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. I think noticing things about you that other people don't notice or okay. might not pick up on. Uh -huh. I think that's, you know, showing she's paying attention. Uh -huh. Something I notice at least. Okay. Uh -huh. And also just like generally like talking back to them more. Yeah. And oh, like, that's, like, I think that's like one of the most important things. Trying to have a uh -huh. conversation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How can a guy successfully approach slash pick up a girl in the gym? In the gym? Yeah. I don't know. That's bold. I wouldn't even approach a girl in the gym, honestly. Uh-huh. I feel like most girls like wouldn't like you approaching them in the gym. So really? I'd probably okay. stay away from it. Okay. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Because, okay, so I plan to do a lot of like pickup videos in the future. Okay. And, uh, so you want to be as successful as possible? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I totally like don't know the girl at all, because like there's actually an Instagram model uh, at my gym. Is that you? Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Nice to meet you. I just discovered your channel recently. Oh, really? I where, where, where? Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Daniel. Daniel, where? where? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll be back for your autograph. Okay. Damn. No, like you should do it. You should do it like in the parking lot or something. Like, parking like, lot? Like, <laughs> like chase her. <laughs> That's, That's so, like, so scary. Right? Yeah, right, so like you're just going, like you're going to your car and like boom, you're somehow like your car is just by hers. What was I saying? Instagram model at the gym. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I actually approached the girl for the first time ever. Uh -huh. And so she was this Instagram model and I actually saw her from like a YouTube video from like from a really big YouTuber and then I was I was actually like pretty, pretty <laughs> Yeah, so I, I guess like question is like if you totally don't know the girl, what's the best way to approach her? I mean, if somebody random were to come up to me, I think just like, hi, I think you're cute. Can I get your snap? Really? Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's probably the best way to yeah, do like, it. Yeah, like I don't think you can do anything better than that. 
Like okay. start with the snap. Snap. Oh, you snapped. Number or number. <laughs> number. Or number. Uh, all right. <laughs> Okay. Maybe while she's on like a water break or something okay. or she's on her phone. Okay. But yeah, if she's like mid-workout, please don't. Mm -hmm. Typically, yeah, if you just approach her and if you're nice enough, like it should be fine. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice on like what the guy should say? You could be like, hey, I think you're really pretty. Like, can I have your Instagram or something uh -huh. like really generic as really? fine, honestly. You think that works? That would work for me, honestly. How would you describe your ideal date? If you can really like talk to each other, not on just like a basic level, but like you agree with a lot of the same stuff, then I, I think it's a good date no matter what you're doing. Okay. Definitely don't do a movie date. It's yeah, just I was so just boring. about to say. Like, well, you can't talk you can't with talk. the person. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, it's definitely something like spontaneous. I think that like hiking is always really fun. It's not awkward if you're like going on a hike because then even if there's like moments of silence, it doesn't have to be super awkward. Okay. Whereas if you're sitting across from them at a table, you're like, this is really awkward. Why aren't we talking right now? <laughs> okay. So yeah. Oh, right, so she said like hiking for you is there like a go-to activity? A walk along uh -huh. the water, especially here, like along the harbor. Uh -huh. that'd, that'd okay. Be cute. Yeah. Okay. Going to like a carnival or something, carnival. or like a theme park or whatever. That would be really fun. Uh -huh. Or like I think going on a picnic at like a park. That's cute. Okay. I would like to do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you guys don't have to answer this, but uh, I, 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 I do want to ask, um, since you guys are like college students, I'm just curious if you guys are willing to share, like how often like do you guys go on dates? Does it stem from like dating apps or is it from a like, guy shooting their shot on Instagram? Like how do dates usually happen? I think it's like a mix of both. Mm -hmm. Like how often now? Yeah. Hardly ever. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I would say like surprisingly yeah. a lot of people use tinder <laughs> uh -huh. but then there's also like getting dm'd or seeing somebody out and it's just like talking to them and then uh -huh. kind Wait, of do you get a lot of dms or no oh. <laughs> i mean like i don't know like uh -huh. yes, i'd say more than the average person <laughs> yeah uh -huh. uh -huh. wait, wait, wait like like what three three a week three new people a week or I she mean, has like 15 people in her DMs right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. She's okay. a lot. Oh, shit. Damn. But, <laughs> but yeah, I think we've got like, options. <laughs> <laughs> Getting asked out mainly is like in my DMs. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so well, what works for you? Definitely not DMs. Really? I mean, it depends. It really just does depend. Uh huh. Okay, actually, another question. Okay, so, I mean, it's for you. Oh, no. Okay, so since, I mean, since you guys, you have all these options, like, how, like, how, how, how do you choose? Okay. I mean, at that point, is it just, like, at, whoever's okay. the most attractive guy, or is it, like... I mean, if I'm trying to go out with somebody, looks isn't the most important thing, but if somebody's DMing you on Instagram and you don't know them, obviously, at least for me, hopefully this isn't shallow, but uh -huh. if you're, like, if I find you attractive, I, there's a higher chance of me, like... No, no, that's, that's DMing normal, you back. Yeah. Um, if I see people who are DMing me with like mutual followers, I'll probably like message them back too because it's like, okay, you're not like some completely random person. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Um, <laughs> so with the pandemic, uh, the past year, pretty much zero. Okay. Um, uh, previously, I'd say it's about like 50 50 or maybe, maybe even more like 60 40 where girls are approaching me. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I'm not trying to be like. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm, I'm just being not. Yeah. When, when these girls approach you, is it like, did they approach you in person or did they shoot their shot on like Instagram or something? Uh, It's been both. Um, okay. Although personally, I prefer in person. I just think it takes guts. Uh huh. And I like that. Wait, so. you, you, you have girls doing that to you? They just come up to you and be like, it's happened. In the gym. Okay. Not in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I actually have a girlfriend, so like I shot my shot with her, mm -hmm. but I had already known her through a friend. Pretty I think I just texted her. Texted her? Yeah. yeah um, especially with COVID, it's pretty hard. Yeah. yeah. So... Which I have you... So you guys haven't been going on dates? No, well, and then you just like meet people through mutual friends, uh -huh. you know? And like that's just kind of the easiest way to do it. Uh -huh. And then usually it'll just be like study date or like... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Getting like lunch at curry or whatever. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. But... All right, okay. This is just totally random, but do you have to have any friends that are like, no Przingis? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I do have a friend really? that knows him. Yeah, so uh -huh. basically this guy worked at a club and he, Przingis would go to the club a lot in Latvia. Uh -huh. So he just became really close friends with him. They text all the time. Oh, shit. And are you close to that friend? Uh, kind of. Like I used to ask him to... Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> okay, that's cool. All right, that's it. Thank you guys. Appreciate cool. it. Right, Thank cool. you. The channel is uh, Jay Z Zero. If you want to check it out. Jay Z Zero. Yeah, like Jay Z and the number zero. Okay. I actually okay. I made a video here before, oh, like I a week it. ago. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you guys yeah, so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that's it. Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was solid. I got a little private basketball run right now. Stay tuned. I haven't played in like a month. Might be a little rusty, but watch this. Brick! This is a story, came from my life, and I'm just recording this shit.